The Prime Minister said the country had long recognized that a multipurpose identification system is required, but cost was a main factor which hindered the progress. The Prime Minister said when the system comes on board, registration will be compulsory. So that every citizen is going to be required to have a national identification, have national identification data, and to be in possession of a national identification card. It is intended that it will be integrated with a multiplicity of purposes that uh, have to do with government services, have to do with people's civic, legal, statutory responsibilities, and also for, for, for their own personal, personal use. He said the intention is to create a system which captures a person the moment he or she is born. Mr. Golding said the system will include a registration process and everyone will be assigned a unique number. The Inter-American Development Bank has agreed to fund the project with money from the Korean Poverty Reduction Fund. 670,000 U.S. dollars will be provided over a period of 12 to 18 months. Mr. Kim Lim expressed gratitude on behalf of the Republic of Korea. Under the splendid leadership of uh, Prime Minister Bruce Golding, I believe the relationship between our two countries become more concrete and more substantial. The recent coverage of the relationship between our, co our two countries includes in the field of energy and cadastral project. Now we are moving ahead with technological system of government. Nadine McLeod, TVJ News.